Well, the big issue this week, without question, was Maxime Bernier uh, and his resignation and, and all the matters surrounding his ex-girlfriend. Uh, I don't have a lot to say on that other than uh, there's a lot of security concerns, and I think that's where we've got to really keep this focused on. Uh, the idea that cabinet documents were being left haphazardly in different places, and we're seeing it may have been more than just this one incident, really leads to a lot of questions and embarrasses us on the international stage. You know, when other countries are going to be exchanging information with us, uh, they, we don't want them thinking, uh, are these documents going to be left on a table somewhere or in an airplane? Uh, is confidential information going to come out in, in a dangerous way? So there's a lot of sensationalism around the case, but when you strip that away and you strip away some of the private considerations, it's really about security concerns. And that's certainly my concern, and I know it's our party's. The second issue that um, I think has been getting a lot of attention, I certainly spoke out a lot about it, is a movie with a rather salacious title, one that I can't say in this video. Uh, but I do want to speak about it a little bit because uh, it's a movie, uh, young people, and uh, I'll leave the, the, the third part of the title off, but um, it's a movie that's generated an enormous amount of condemnation from conservatives and some right-wing groups. Uh, and they've never seen it, uh, and I think that's a big part of the problem. Look, if you're going to condemn something, you have to see it. And I think we all get sick of, of either books or movies being condemned and written off and written off as, as, as a terrible example of government supporting something awful when no one's seen what's going on. There's a screening tonight. Not a single conservative is going. In fact, one conservative staffer who was brave enough to RSVP was fired in, my, in Gary Goodyear's office uh, just because she RSVP'd to go see this movie. Look, when we're having a debate, an important debate, about what should be funded or not funded um, by the federal government to support arts and culture, the question shouldn't be uh, whether or not we as individual members of parliament are offended by it. Uh, our individual feelings about what is art or what is not art uh, certainly shouldn't come into play, and particularly about a movie, once you strip off the salacious title, that is just about you know complicated, amusing relationships between people in their 20s and 30s. So I think we've got to get a grip on things. Uh, it's just gotten way over sensationalized, uh, and I think that we have to allow this uh, other processes to determine what is going to fund our arts.